One final segment here on the Tim Miles Show. Welcome back, everybody. Continue to talk Colorado State Ram basketball. Brian Roth with you along with Coach Tim Miles. Let's take a look ahead. And Mountain West Conference action now starting to get into the swing of things here. You're going to go on to the road for the first time in conference play. Not only do you have to go on the road, you have to go to the pit. <laughs> yeah, thank you. you know, but you got to go there eventually. Yeah. The pit's probably one of the top three or four places uh, to play in the country in terms of home court advantage. I say most teams have a four or five point home court advantage at the pit double it it's uh it's eight or ten and uh that's just the way it goes you have to be that much better than new mexico to beat them there and and we're excited to go down there it's a unique place because it's so loud the crowd's right on you Seventeen thousand. they just put a hundred million of into a renovation on the place it's not up to code fire wise so if there's a fire alarm we gotta <laughs> hustle out of there all right, and, uh, and I just read that on like a uh, national story. I'm sure you're not AP. making that up. No, it's I re- <laughs> like it was this big thing. But uh, and then um, and then finally, you know, we're excited. It's just a unique thing. I mean, it's it's a it's an environment where you can't hear each other, can't talk. Even at timeouts, the crowd's so loud. You know, I just write things on a marker board and show them to the guys because you really can't talk to them very well. And, and so it puts you in a different, uh, different spot, something you don't go through very often in a season. Uh, but it's still pretty fun. It's pretty fun when they're all quiet and you're doing well, which hasn't yeah. happened yeah. that often, though. It right? hasn't happened that often. Yeah. No, and the student section likes to get on opposing coaches. So yeah, they, that's I, always nice. They're, they're right next to you, yeah, too. I wore pink, I think, or something last <laughs> year. They really like that. Uh, uh, I'll have something on my sleeve for them. Yeah, you know, it'll be a New Mexico team that is coming off a, a heartbreaking loss. Give me your thoughts. Uh, it was, yeah, it, I feel it, terrible. Uh, I just coach all around. Yeah, that's I mean, right. Tough it's, break, buddy. It's uh, hard to feel <laughs> sorry yeah, for a guy that won 14 consecutive games games in the yeah. Mountain West last year. But uh, last second shot, they lose at Laramie uh, last Saturday. Well, I mean, Wyoming is improving. I think that's what we have to give Wyoming. Is they came into our gym and punched us, and, and we were able to come back, and we've got a nice, solid team, so we're able to win the game. Uh, but Wyoming is improving, and so that's not such a, a shock to me. At the same time, you know, New Mexico is good, but I don't know that they're 30-win good, right, uh, which they were last year. And so – uh, there's always a uh, riddle to be solved, and uh, uh, and so we look forward to going down and trying to find a way to win in, in Albuquerque. Yeah, no Darrington Hobson, no Roman Martinez left, but they're, they aren't void of talent, and I, I know their their point guard, Darius Gary, is a, is a guy that certainly can battle for a first-team selection. Uh, he's been, uh, I think, their leading scorer about two-thirds of the time. Uh, Phil McDonald's another guy. I think they're 1-3 and three when he's not in double figures and 8-0 and oh when he is. He hasn't played every game for them, so uh, all the numbers don't add up, but but at the same time, he's, their guards are really critical. And they're inside goods. Drew Gordon, uh, transfer from UCLA, is a nice player. Alex Kirk, one of the top 100 players in the country. 6'11", 7-foot guy, makes threes. Uh, good player. So they've, they're not void of talent, let's put it that way. No, Kirk stepped out, hit a late three against Wyoming. Huge play. Was, he's, a, he's a guy that has a nice stroke for a 7-footer. So the Rams will go down to Albuquerque midweek, first road conference game, and then they'll be right back here at the – Moby Arena against TCU, a team that I know played well during the non-conference, but boy, uh, they got it stuck to them pretty good against UNLV last week. Well, they haven't had it the easiest. Now, anybody could lose to San Diego State at home and at UNLV in our league. I mean, those are two tough games to start the league, so I'm not going to indict them yet. Uh, But at the same time, Jim Christian's got a team that's good on offense. They've got two guards, Hank Thorns and Tuffy Moss, Ronnie Moss, that cause a lot of problems. We've struggled with quicker guards, uh, so I don't love that match. Matchup. I think we've got an advantage inside on them. They haven't proven to be the most uh, difficult team to score on. They're, they're uh, worse than us defensively, so there's some value to that. At the same time, Coach Christian will get them in a great rhythm on offense. They'll get them, and they're a tough-minded team that will fight you. We've always played tough both places. Every game we've played since Jim Christian's been here has been a close game. All four of them have been right down to the wire. So um, I think it'll be a great game. Hopefully we get a big fan support uh, to come out without the students in yet and, um, and cheer us on to victory. Uh, it's, it's been basketball season for a while, but once you start getting into conference play, it Really oh, yeah. starts to get leg. to you. Yeah, That's right. my leg. <laughs> it's fun though. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. This is this is What's a great great time of year. Well, as always, Tim, thank you so much. Appreciate it, and thanks for bringing Adam Nygon by. Thanks, Brian. All right, Tim Miles. He's the coach of the uh, CSU Rams. Thanks for joining us for another edition of the Tim Miles Show. Thanks for joining us on the Tim Miles Show. Tune in next time for more exciting Rams basketball action.